for the cleanup teams this morning. Walking to the very spot from where the carnage was unleashed, it's a grim task. And the questions, who, why, and what next? A day on, a far from clear. For President Putin, a chance to name drop Ukraine. Guilt by association. All four direct perpetrators of the attack, all those who shot and killed people, were found and detained. They tried to hide and were moving towards Ukraine. Their car apparently intercepted halfway between Moscow and the border. Russian military intelligence sharing footage of what it claims were the weapons they recovered. How convenient, some might argue, to try and bolster support for Putin's war against its neighbor. With hundreds of thousands of his soldiers now dead or injured, he needs to recruit more. Kiev with an angry rebuttal. Do not try and pin this on us. Ukraine absolutely definitely has nothing to do with this incident. Ukraine has a full-scale war with Russia and will solve the problem of Russia's aggression on the battlefield. So who are they? The US says it warned Moscow a couple of weeks ago about an imminent threat from extremists to what it called large gatherings. Islamic State, who've been targeting Russia since Putin backed Assad in Syria, are claiming the attackers were theirs, with speculation mounting the gunmen were from Tajikistan. But fact and fiction in Putin's Russia are hard to separate, and Ukraine is easier to blame. It allows them to find also an enemy they can hit. Uh, it would be very hard to hit ISIS in Central Asia because there isn't an obvious country they can hit at. They could maybe hit potential bases in Afghanistan, but that would become very problematic. And secondly, it also gives them ammunition, additional ammunition to keep fighting quite, you know, quite um, broadly and quite intensely in Ukraine. The geopolitical implications of this attack, complex, but the impact on families, simple.